Uh, you do one of those things where you're already recording and I don't know what's going on. All right, I've got some Portra 160 that I'm gonna load up into my Veronica that I'll be shooting with, lovely Evie who's uh, already started shooting. Idea is to get some shots on this, so let's roll up. Decided to go with the 160 because of the flash that I'll be using in a minute. I know that the results on the, the 160 are gonna come out that much better. It's a very reliable film as well. This is the first time I think I'm doing it, or second time I'm doing it properly. We'll just see how this goes. I'm gonna also do a second back as well with some Fuji 160, just to see how different it looks. I, I'm curious actually, because with the, the Pro 400H, the colors come out a lot more saturated. And I'm just wondering how much more saturated will they look on the 160 version of it? And whether there is actually a difference between this and Portra 160. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I, th I think Fuji, I really do like shooting with Fuji. In a controlled environment such as a studio one, I'm not sure if I want to shoot with 400 with it. I think it would just be too much saturation, I think, with the colours. There you go, that's all set. Do you like more one than the other? Well, I know that I like the Portra. I'm still warming up to the Fuji, but I, I hope they keep producing a film. I'm just a little bit worried that they're gonna stop doing it like they have with the, the Pro 400H. So we'll see how we go. Right, so this is the... Thankfully we have a full box of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put the Portra 160 up first and then that's loaded. Beautiful, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Can we pick up the phone again? Is that possible? Or is it too far? Three, two, one. portrait and then I'm done. Last shot. Just double check this comes out. Yeah, let's try again. Three, two, one. Did it fire? Yes. Yeah. Thank God. Alright. That's always like uh it's like is it gonna fire? Is it gonna fire? Okay, can you put one leg down for me? That's it. And if you just turn your body just slightly that way, that's it, perfect. There we go. And then you look up towards me, bring your chin up a little bit, a little bit lower. Three, two, one. Awesome. Three, two, one. Good. And you can... Don't even text from this. I know, I know. Well, uh, I just ignored that phone. Yeah. <laughs> I found. When you do have a home phone, it's just people trying to sell you things. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yep. Very tasty. It's great when you're on a diet. Change the back. Three, two, one. Wonderful. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You got an emotional attachment. You got an emotional attachment. I think it was like my ninth birthday present. I just remember how cool I felt. But like I had my own like birthday. Not to plug it in anywhere or anything like that. I didn't even speak to anyone on it. It's the idea of having something, isn't it? Yeah. It's the. Yeah, that's right. But except we do get a photo with it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, no, slightly I, different. I, I can plug it in now yeah. and use it, but it's just back then my mum wasn't going to like wire up the electric so that I can have a phone in my room. At mm. nine years old, she's like, you don't need to talk to your friends about that. <laughs> <laughs> just see them at school tomorrow. All done for today. Till next time. <laughs>